today I'm going to try to bake a Red Bull apple pie. It's so exciting. First, I thought it was not possible. And then I found a recipe for a mile high apple pie. And basically, instead of a flat apple pie, it's a super tall apple pie. So. 14 apples, two of them from our balcony. This one is for Deco. This is my old mold that actually I gave to my friend and she gave me back for making this. Those are gluten-free and lactose-free because my cousin cannot eat gluten and we are going to the party tomorrow, so I'm bringing that. Cinnamon, one egg, maybe I'll use a second one. I'm actually not going to use the lemon juice. It's only to make that the apple don't brown I'm not using it because also one of my other cousin is allergic to lemon but you can use that and some butter sugar and also the few flour that we'll need is also gluten-free but you can do that with a regular thing and I just took some chocolate to make the deco on her face and maybe I'll have some other sugar thing for the deco but we'll see that later I'll put the full recipe in the description uh, the original one because I changed a lot but then you'll probably be able to do it with the original one so let's go this mold is it too big no actually it works i was not sure because i need a little bit outside to stitch it together with the top and it's good normally you would need something deeper i think but in that case i think it still works because it's red i wanted something red and i wanted it to be hello kitty so to be pretty should we remove this thing or should i keep it or i will just cut it around When peeling, we kept some of the beautiful green peels to use as decoration later to make leaves. And I put some lemon juice here to prevent them from turning brown and I'll be sure that my cousin doesn't eat that. Florian is helping with peeling the apples. Thank you so much. So I added the sugar and now the flour and cinnamon. This recipe doesn't have a cinnamon bloom in a magma bloom version. So I decided to do it with cinnamon bloom, but you're welcome to do it with magma bloom if you want. Florian made all this already. Can you see how thin it is and very nice? Wow, this is so big. This is going to be a mile high. This is incredible and so heavy. This is so big and I need to mix all that inside. So I think I'll slowly transfer them and mix them here to be able to, to mix all that in. Okay, this is it. Now <laughs> I need to make a huge pile. It's called a mile high. So we'll see how tall we can do. Hello Kitty doesn't have a face like that. She has a huge head. So let's see what we can do. I'm so afraid. Oh my God. really work so I would say that is the regular apple pie and now I have at least three times that to try and make it tall okay I don't know if you can see this is already kind of tall I mean in Europe we don't make apple pies like that it's not like a filling tart it's like all of that so this is already super high for me but we can do better let's do that Okay, so I'm all out of apples. At some point I was pretty sure that I would have way too much. Now I have three more of these and I need to cut some lattice pattern to be able to fill that first. And I thought that maybe two of them would be good enough for the lattice part or maybe one and a half and then I will need more to make the ears of Kitty. I think I'll start with the big ones where they're not big enough or should I stretch them? So I'll put them like that. Oh, it's actually not too bad. And now let's cut another one to do the opposite and we'll probably have extras. So maybe I'll cut just what I need, we'll see. I totally forgot that I had to put some butter in it. So I'll try to squeeze it in now. I have now my 
pretty cheat, you cannot really see it. So I'll know how to make a nice lettuce. Yes, I think I completely messed up. I need to make it way tighter on both sides. Okay, let's start over. But it's going to be a lot more complicated, but I think I can make it. It looks amazing so far, so let's keep going. It's actually perfect, yay! So now let's make it cute here, and then I'll start making the ears. Maybe with that I have enough. I might not have to need another pie. I'm trying to see what I could do here like this, maybe. And then I could use the other one, that would be perfect. I tried before on camera and it looked better. Ah, uh, it was better before. Why did I not film this? It does look like an ear, so... Okay, let's make a second one. I made holes with my nails in it. So this one will be the one on the other side where we'll hide everything with an apple. I think they're not big enough. Already start using the egg yolk to actually be able to stick things together. So this will be to make it nice on the top, the yolk actually, but I'll use the white to stick things together. Okay, so bigger ears. First of all, also they keep falling, so I'll just glue them all. At that point it's not baking anymore, it's just crafting. But also we want it here to be a little bit flat. Okay, I have an idea. I think I can do it like that. On the photo, the ears is also kind of lattice, so it makes sense if it's actually not just one piece. And I think it's way better, way, way bigger. Also, maybe it's good to have extras because if the ears are that much higher, they might actually burn in the oven. So maybe it's good if we can make <laughs> Here ones just in case. That is actually a cute shape. Hmm, I think now we're talking. I think this is big enough and definitely this was not. So now I have two ears that are kind of the same size. Good. So let's see how we can make them stick and what is the best like the front on the picture. You kind of have those round things in the front and I did not have enough dough to make that. So I'm wondering if actually, where is it the cutest? I don't know, it's ugly on all the way. So I'm not sure this will work enough to make them stick. Maybe I should put some uh, sticks inside. Okay, let's try with that. Maybe two per ears is better? Mmm, I think that's way better. I mean, it's still a little bit more flat than it should be. It should be taller, but I think this is already good enough. So, the rest is actually made by deco. Like, those will be an apple and apples and the eyes and everything I will make in chocolate, but obviously after. So. This is going to be my apple. It's small and red, so I'll be able to cut everything from that. Let's bake it now and let's hope that I do not need to redo the ears because they're burnt. And maybe I'll just cook them a little bit and then I can actually remove them because of the sticks and put them back later. I forgot that I need to make a glaze. So this is the yolk with a little bit of water. You know what? I think I will put everything already on the, the thing that would go in the oven that would be better. Last step is sprinkle some sugar on it. So I think this time is okay to put it in the oven. Okay, it's looking good, but as you can see, one of the ears is actually falling, so I'll see if I can add more sticks to make it still a bit taller. Okay, this is the next morning. You can see that after being for like 24 hours in the fridge, this fell a little bit because maybe it was too heavy, but that's fine. I think this on this side anyway, we have to do the bow, so it will be okay. So let's try with this melted chocolate to design the face. Ok, 
Okay, this is not bad, but now if you look, her nose is actually pink. I could have gone with a smarty or something like that, but it's round, so it needs to be oval, but I don't have anything oval pink. So I have those tiny hurts here, and there's stars here. So I'll try to mold any of that, hopefully, into making like maybe two together to make something oval. <laughs> chocolate because I was lazy but maybe I should not have used that and I still want so I need to change one but other than that I think it's cool. We need to live in an hour. I still have to do all the deco with the apple. Hopefully my outfit is almost done and I still need to take photos so let's go. Can I do it before we leave? Here I have one quarter, another quarter, another quarter here, and I'm trying to do this round thing. I'll pick the one that are the reddest for the bow, and I think that these two can be here. And I have my peels from yesterday. That was the easy part. Now the bow. So let's take this one that is smallest to actually make the sides. And in this one, I'll try to make a round. Let's try to do half, but I might need to do even smaller ones. So let's see if I can cut something round here and then I use the rest of the peel on the side to make it red everywhere. Actually, this is huge, but that might be enough. So if I have this, maybe I don't need to make it round around. And so I can just make that a little bit smaller and that will be good. So let's see. Okay, it was a beautiful round and I'm trying to make it smaller, but no, I think it will work. Okay, so I'll make it a little bit more pointy and I'll stick it. Good, 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 good. Now, I wish the apple was smaller, but that will be fine. I think this is it. This is amazing! I'm so happy it looks amazing! ta -da! This is the final result. Oh my god, it's amazing. Obviously, it's not as tall as I would have imagined, but honestly, it's tall enough for me. I would not expect it to look as good. And the face is actually good. Usually when you do the eyes and everything, it's hard to make a cute face. And I think it doesn't look too weird. So wow, it's amazing. And we will have it today with my cousins. And I will tell you guys later, maybe if it's good or not, hopefully. But it could not be bad because the apples are going to be amazing. And two of them were from my balcony. So who? The apples were so good. I think that maybe a regular dough in the future might be better. And also we ended up not eating the ears because it was so much of this not perfect dough. But the rest was so, so, so good. So thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see how I made this witch look, click over there. Bye-bye.